For the cardboard ball toy, you'll just need a toilet paper roll and a pair of scissors. The first step is to flatten the toilet paper roll. Then you'll want to cut the roll into eight or nine sections of equal width. Assemble the ball by interlacing the sections together in a crisscross fashion. For some extra fun, you can hide some treats inside the ball. For the wand toy, you'll just need a few supplies. Some ribbon, scissors, and a plastic wand of some sort. The first step is to cut roughly 10 pieces of ribbon that are 15 to 20 inches in length. You can use as many ribbon colors as you'd like. Your next step is to tie all of your pieces of ribbon onto the plastic wand. If you don't have a plastic wand, you can use a bubble wand as well. That will work just fine. Once your ribbon is tied on, you can curl the ribbon as desired. You can either curl all the pieces or just a few. It's totally up to you. Now you're ready to have some fun. For this chew toy, you'll just need a bunch of old t-shirts or towels and a pair of scissors. The first step is to cut the t-shirts into long strips of fabric, as long as you can get. I just cut off the sleeves of my shirts and then cut lengthwise up the body. The number of strips you cut depends on how thick you'd like the toy to be. If you followed my technique, you'll need to unfold your t-shirt strips so that they are lying flat at their full length. Once you've cut the desired number of strips, gather them together and tie a knot in one end. Then separate the strips into three equal sections and braid them together. Once you've reached the desired length, tie another knot in the end. Trim the ends if necessary. And that's it! For this no sew catnip toy, you'll need some fleece or other fabric, a pair of scissors, and catnip. First, you'll need to cut two 6 inch squares of fleece. Then stack the squares on top of each other and cut equally spaced 2 inch slits around all four edges. Once you've cut all your slits, begin to tie the squares together on all sides. Be sure to leave a 2 inch opening on one side so you can fill it with catnip. Once it's filled, finish tying the rest of the way. Now your cats are ready to have some fun! For this super simple crunchy chew toy, you'll need an old sock, an empty water bottle, and a handful of dry kibble or treats. The first step is to fill the water bottle with a handful of the treats or kibble. Then put the top back on. Next, you'll want to put the water bottle inside of the sock. Tie a knot at the top and then another knot at the bottom. Easy peasy!